So I came across some very cheap strawberry and they look really nice and fresh. And so I end up buying two cases. So uh, I have uh, eight boxes and I'm going to show you guys how to ferment it today, okay? So first of all, you're gonna clean all the strawberry and then cut into smaller pieces like this, uh, whatever size you want, but just cut this small and then you're going to pack it into any type of jar or glass or plastic will be fine. Uh, put one layer of sugar in the bottom and then one layer of strawberry and then another layer of uh, of sugar. So, so just, you know, kind of stack it up like this and make sure that you stack them all around first and then uh, one some more in the uh, middle. Then you're gonna sprinkle uh, some sugar on top, just like that. And then you're gonna continue uh, adding strawberry on top. And then, you know, just as, as you go like about that much of sugar is enough. And you're gonna stack another layer of uh, strawberry and you can continue to do that until you ran out, okay? So, <clears throat> if you want it sweet, then put more sugar. And if you don't want it too sweet, then just put a bit of less sugar will be fine. But make sure you put sugar in there. Uh, plus the juice from the strawberry, the sourness from the strawberry to uh, get it to ferment it um, easier and uh, for a stronger ferment. Okay, so continue to add it up just like what I'm doing right here. And you're going to press this firmly around. So that way you can have uh, more room to add on to uh, to the top of it. So I just have a, a little bit left. I'm just gonna dump it on top up here and I'm gonna sprinkle a little more sugar than any other layers. Uh, just, you know, maybe uh, two or three more extra spoonful of sugar right on top of it uh, because I have more strawberry on top and and you don't want to have less sugar. Uh, always add more uh, better than better than less. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of extra sugar on top and I'm going to cover it up with, if you have a lid, uh, put a lid on, but make sure you put like a, um, um, a plastic wrapping on top. And then All right, so this is after about three days, okay? Um, as you can see, all the juice has actually started coming out a lot. A lot of juice going all the way up to the top right here. All the way to the top. But uh, usually it will take about seven days before you can uh, use it. Right now it's a little too sweet. And you can see like bubbles around here. That's the sign of ferment, uh, fermenting. So um, give it a couple more days, like four more days, and then you can start to use it. Um, if you want to use it, uh, if you want to get the stronger ferment, then leave it out in the warm place. So that's, that's why I'm bringing it upstairs because, you know, the heat up here is, uh, is a little warmer. So um, if leave it here and, and they get just stronger and stronger uh, the longer you leave it, okay? And if you uh, don't want it strong... Um, you can drink it out and squeeze all of this. Use a cheesecloth to squeeze all of this, or you can actually blend it. You blend this whole thing out and then drink the whole thing with the uh, pulp and everything. Okay. If not, you can use a cheesecloth and drink it out and just get the the juice only. Okay. So all of this is edible and drinkable. If not, uh, you don't want to, you know, just uh, drink all of this out and squeeze all the juice out of out here. And after. This is done. If you squeeze out the juice, you probably get about, I would say, about a little more than half of the, uh, half of the whatever size that you uh, started with. Okay, so uh, this is actually very, very nice and smell really good. Um, I have it actually sealed up right here. You can see the it's kind of bubbling up because of all the fermenting. Um, but the the smell is actually very very good right now so so yeah that's it that's how you're going to make your strawberry fermented um i would say not really like an alcohol like but it's a lot stronger 
um, it is more like a, a sweet wine, okay? Uh, so this will get about, I would say about 17 to 23 or 24%. Um, if you leave it longer, if you leave it for about 10 days or 14 days, it gets up to about 24% of um, alcohol volume, okay? So uh, for about seven, seven days, uh, you get about, I'd say about 11 to 12, maybe 13% out of this so you can get drunk out of this so um so yeah don't let the kids drink it and it's actually very healthy for you after meal every day well that's it i'll see you guys on the next video if you have any questions uh, leave the comment below and i will um answer my best okay